discussing the philosophy of religion. Uh, <laughs> discussing the philosophy of religion. So we have um, a tradition within Western philosophy called continental philosophy. Um, um, one branch of continental philosophy uh, is a European tradition. That's another way of saying it. European philosophy, continental philosophy. Um, one significant branch of that is phenomenology. And we're going to explore phenomenological thinkers today within the philosophy of religion. So let's get into some of the ideas within these branches of philosophy. So I've just explained this sort of taxonomy. We have Western philosophy in general. We have continental philosophy um, emerging really in the 19th century and into the 20th century, maybe 20th century in particular. We're going to see a lot of continental uh, thinkers within philosophy. Um, within continental philosophy, we have this branch called phenomenology, which has a very particular set of concerns. And um, phenomenology is really started by someone called Husserl. Um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the German name there properly, but hopefully it's somewhere approximating. Husserl is this figure here. We also have Heidegger, a famous student of Husserl's. We also have Merleau Ponty, a French phenomenologist. More broadly speaking, we have other phenomenologists, Carl Jung, Mercea Eliada, Jordan Peterson, and Jonathan Pajot. Uh, these four thinkers, two of them were more operative in the 20th century, and then we have two more 21st century contemporary uh, voices in the phenomenological tradition. Um, I appreciate I haven't really explained much about phenomenology, what it is, what it means, any of this stuff. So let's just return to Husserl and uh, read a bit of Husserl, okay? And this is from Husserl's ideas. And he, he, he has some fantastic writing. Um, which we're going to be exploring in a reading group on the discussing the philosophy of religion Discord server, which I'll share an invite to at the bottom of this video. So like, check this out. This is from Herschel's ideas. The ADOS, the pure essence, can be exemplified intuitively in the data of experience, the data of perception, memory, and so forth, but just as readily also in the mere data of fancy or fantasy. So what he's saying there is that the ADOS, or the pure essence of a chair or a book or a head, some headphones, The pure essence or the ADOS, the Greek word ADOS means idea in English. Those words are the same word, basically. The idea is the pure essence, the idea of a chair, the idea of a book is an abstract pure essence, which we grasp uh, as the phenomenon reveals itself or manifests itself to us in experience as that revelation is happening, Herschel was saying, as this revelation of that something is, that this book is, I am grasping a pure essence. I'm not grasping the material elements. I'm not grasping the paper. I'm not actually grasping the ink on the pages. Um, I'm not grasping the letters exactly, although I am grasping the letters. I'm not grasping the words in the book exactly, although I am grasping the words. I'm not grasping the paragraphs exactly, although I am grasping the paragraphs. I'm not grasping the pages exactly, but I am grasping the pages. You see what I'm saying? All the chapters. 
or the whole structure of the book, really I'm trying to appreciate the ADOS or the pure essence or the holistic idea that is Herschel's ideas, for example. And that's what Herschel was saying. He's saying I'm not fundamentally perceiving or experiencing this book as not a book. I'm experiencing it as a unity, as a whole, given in experience. It is given to me as a pure essence, as a whole in my experience. Um, so Herschel then goes on in the ideas, which I'm, I'm reading, and we're going to have a reading group for um, tomorrow when this, book's, when this um, video is published. It will be tomorrow on the Discord server where there will be an invite below. Uh, that was a bit of a taster of Herschel's ideas, Herschel's phenomenology. He's very much emphasizing experience, perception, um, the way things appear in perception and in our, in our human experience. He's taking experience seriously. He's saying experience can be a source of epistemic validity we can say something is true on the basis of experience first and foremost, but he's saying, what is the structure of that experience? These are the questions Herschel was asking in his early 20th century phenomenology. And he's putting that platonic idea, the ADOS, the form, the pure essence um, of a thing, as it appears, a glass, a microphone, a book, a chair, a house, anything really. These things are recognized in terms of their logos, their order, their rationally apprehensible order, and they are apperceived as wholes, as ideas, as unities, as logoi in our experience. This would, I'm using the word logoi there and I'm mapping that onto first of all, but he's basically saying that meaning our experience is structured according to meaning and we see meanings and we encounter meanings. A book is a meaning, a chair is a meaning. It's a coherent meaning, a whole meaning. Um, and it cannot fundamentally be separated into its constituent parts. It appears as a meaning, as a tree, as a cat, as, as a dog, as a human being, as a person as a whole, uh, this is also the basis really for the psychological idea of ego, to abstract out the pure essence, the ADOS, the idea, the logos of my personhood is this abstract concept, this ego, um, which still has a rationality to it and a structure to it. And that's, I think, related to Herschel's phenomenology and Carl Jung, was writing in Europe at the same time in the Germanic speaking areas of the world with Herschel um, close by, basically, in time and in space. And so must have, Jung must have felt the influence of Herschel. And I think Jung's ego self axis, as Edinger formulated it, is a really interesting example of the, how the ADOS, the uh, idea, functions psychologically. Anyway, let's wrap up the first instalment or the first episode of the first commentary on phenomenology within the philosophy of religion. And we're starting with Herschel. Um, thanks, thanks so much for watching.